Hi, my name is Dave Glover, Senior Engineer for the Envision product line. What we're going to be talking about today is whiteboarding the Envision solution. So let's go over to the whiteboard and start going through it. When we talk about Envision, we talk about collection of logs and reporting and alerting. Let's talk about how that actually flows through the product and then we'll get into the physical deployment and what pieces and parts actually get laid out. At the core of the product is the collector. The collector is responsible for either listening for logs or going out and getting logs. The protocols that the collector support are Windows Agentless, Checkpoint, File Reader, Syslog, SMP. Once these logs come in, they're processed by the collector. So let's follow the, the data flow throughout the product. As those logs are being collected by the collector, they're moving across into the IPDB or the Internet Protocol database. So going along that example, if we have a Windows device, the Windows device are being collected by the collector. They're coming across. They're being processed and compressed and fingerprinted, secured. Then they're dropped into the IPDB. They're dropped in under their own directory. So they'll be dropped into a Windows directory. Now let's assume that the IP address of that Windows device is 1.1.1.1. There'll be another subfolder from the Windows directory of 1.1.1.1. All the logs will live in there uh, based upon time. So there'll be some subfolders in there. So in this case, we're in July of 2010. So there'll be a 2010 folder, and then there'll be a July folder. Now, obviously, you know, when we get into uh, 2011, there'll be those hierarchy of folders and so forth. Now, the logs are now living in there, the raw representation. If all we were going to do is collect logs, this would be the end life cycle. The logs are collected, they're processed through the collector, they come across, and they get dumped into the IPDB. Obviously, we want to do more of that. We want to be able to, let's start off first with reporting. There's a reporting database. The reporting database receives its information in runtime from the IPDB. The way that works is I will submit a query. So I'm over here using through the UI. I submit my query in the form of a report. What happens here is the reporting database will then go ask the IPDB for the information. So let's say I looked for failed logins from Joe Smith. The reporting database will go ask IPDB, show me all of the failed logins and all the ones from Joe Smith. Now what comes back is actually raw data. Now when we talk about the parsers, this is where the parsers are actually invoked. So they'll run through an XML parser. What the XML parser will do is we'll take the, nor the raw data that has been collected and stored. It will normalize it into temporary tables in, in the reporting database. So we'll spin up some temporary space in there that has all the fields and so forth associated with the, the data that we're looking for. Once that data is then organized and counted or whatever subfunctions you've asked for, that data will then be exported into the report in either HTML, PDF, or CSV format. Once that data has been written into the report, the temporary tables are, have been flushed. We do this for a couple of reasons. One is to um, provide speed in the database. It's not a big giant monolithic blob with a lot of data in it. Uh, but secondly, for database maintenance, because now I don't need extra space for the tables, it all get flushed, which means I also don't require DBA. So we've collected 
we've reported. Now, granted, if I scheduled reports or ad hoc reports, it's going to follow the same process. But next thing I'd like to do is to be able to uh, run alerts or correlations. Now, the way that we do this differentiates ourselves from the rest of the marketplace as well. If we look at this line right here, so this is the path by which the data, once it's been collected, gets stored. Now, if think if you will of a little process that has view into this live data stream. Now, that process being the alerter can look into that data stream. It knows what you're looking for based upon rules that you have set up. So if I set up a rule that says, hey, notify me if I get uh, five fail logins from Joe Smith, say basically the same type of report that we ran, what it will start doing is as the fail login data starts passing through, it will look for the Joe Smith ones. Once it picks out the five that we asked for, you'll be notified. It can be sent up to trouble ticketing and so forth. But the thing that's different here that differentiates ourselves from anybody else is we do this in line in the data stream as it comes. So to recap the way that Envision processes data, the data comes in one of the known protocols. Again, this is either supported devices or custom devices that you built. The data comes in through the collector. It traverses through a process of securing, compressing, fingerprinting the data. It writes it out into the IPDB or Internet Protocol data Database. The data is available to the reporting system, in which case it goes and pulls the raw data, parses it, outputs the report. And then the alerter system sits on the live data stream to notify you in real time. So, what I'd like to cover next is the physical architecture on how this actually gets deployed and which pieces work with these functions. Let me race a little bit. Okay. So the next thing we'd like to cover now uh, that we learned how Envision actually processes data at a very high level is the physical architecture of how all of this comes together when we deploy it. Remember, I said at the core, we have the collector. Now, in this case, the collector transfers to a, a real physical machine. So we have our collector. Everything I'm going to draw here are pieces of metal. On top of the collector, to manage the data, we have our data server, or commonly known as DS. It is not a database server, it's a data server. They serve different functions. Now, I have my collector, which all the log data comes into. I have my data server, which manages the information and manages the configurations. What I need now is a access entry point into there to actually provide me a UI and the application server provides me that. So that's my application server. So to recap what these pieces do, the logs come into the collector. The application server provides a UI interface. It's also the place that I write the reports and a place that I access and configure the rules. Now, one piece that's missing from here that I'm going to draw is the storage. So all this log data needs to live somewhere. So on the back end of Envision, on this cluster or the site as we call it, is a NAS storage. So the NAS storage is network, network storage. It's connected on a private backend interlink to the system. Therefore, no log data that gets brought into the system traverses the network, the public network again. Also, all replication and all uh, inter-process communications live on that private network as well. So I hope that that was useful for you. Again, my name is Dave Glover, Senior Engineer. Thank you.